Oh, hi guys. Today, I'm going to conclude if the chickens will eat my nuts. So, um, as you know, it was just November, so the chickens had to do No Nut November, and now I'm going to feed them nuts for the first time in a long time. So, um, see if they like them. Greg's up first. I'm not sure if you can see any of this. He's skeptical. What if I just put them on the ground for you? He's trying his best. Maybe they can't eat. Okay, it's time for these guys to have a chance. Ooh. Oh yes, they are they are definitely eating my nuts. I think. Maybe they can't actually eat them. Time to feed them the good old fashioned stuff. Right. So they didn't really like the pink ones, but they are they very much like the normal ones, I think. Maybe. Possibly. I think they do, aren't able to eat them because they're so hard, maybe? They're like, they're trying. But they just can't. We'll come back to that at the end of the video, see if the chickens will eat the nuts, but, um, you know, farm vlog. So, lots has been going on. I've just hatched my guinea fowls. I've never hatched them before. Um, so I'll show you them. For fuck's sake. Um, next few scenes are going to be quite graphic and sad, so if you can't handle that, Skip on. So, what happened? Well, yesterday, chicken was over there and I noticed it was a bit sick. It was like sneezing. <coughs> so I put it in here for isolation to make sure there are no diseases. And it is dead. But I don't think it's dead because of a disease. I think it's been attacked by rats. Why would the chicken... Um, stiff as. What is it? Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's horrible. Is that an egg or something? Oh, that sucks. Every time I put these chickens in the dog kennels, they just die. So I'm thinking I'm going to need a new strategy. Well, we're gonna have to give it a nice burial. Oh. I hope I haven't buried something here before. I think I'm good. What is that? Oh, it's okay. So, I decided since I've got so much dead chickens in this little patch, there'd be lots of fertilizers. So I planted some cane like 15 weeks ago, and it just suddenly came out of the ground in the last week. That's what you can see on the left there, and there's also weeds everywhere, but I thought I'd just note that some cane videos coming soon, mate. So there is always a bright side in everything, and I'm just going to give you a bit of a backstory and hopefully cheer this video up. So I name my Arakana flock after politicians. Um, I will just say, the name of the characters don't have anything to do with my personal beliefs. I just search up politicians, and that's what they are. Anyway, so this mom's name was actually Anastasia, after Anastasia Palaszczuk, the Premier of Queensland. And um, she actually just left today. As we're recording this, she's gone. So is this chicken. So, if you want to look at it with a little bit of happiness, you could kind of laugh at that fact, but apart from that, it's very sad. And now I've only got one lavender hen. That is actually so annoying. Anyway, what we're doing originally, so, this is my gold lace wine dots, and they are currently sitting on my guinea fowls. Um... Well, I've kind of got a little bit of a 
thing in my mind that they're not actually on there, so I'm just gonna check. So I only have four. Ow! Okay, they're under there. So let's have a quick sneak peek. Look how cute they are. They're actually cuter than chickens. I really like them. So I really need to keep them alive. I'm working very hard. Um, I've completely boarded this up, so no rats, and they can't fall out either now, so... That's why it's so crammed in there, but that's how they're going. So, how is the silkies going? Well, um, remember the great baby boom? Well, we had like 12 babies, and now we've got five. So, they disappeared and died, which is very upsetting, actually. Um, but apart from that, they're going alright. They're all clucky, so I'm not getting eggs. And they're all still being mulched, which is good. That one, I can't believe it's not dead actually. It's only got one eye. It's got something in its eye. I don't know, I've just got a few chickens in here. It's Tiny Teddy, he's my favourite. Oh, no eggs today. You need to go outside, Tiny Teddy. Like, what are you doing? He's just been chilling inside every day, all day. And I don't know why, it's not normal. So I'm just going to give her something to eat. And then you can sit inside if you would like. Because she'll eat, I think. Usually she does anyway. It's a bit confused. A hawk. I'm trying to eat my chickens. And the roosters are getting loaded, as you can tell. I've never seen one this close before, actually. That mum over here, who is one of my favourite mums, actually, she is obviously aware that there's a hawk there. She's got four. She used to have six. One died yesterday. So, yeah, it's kind of sad. But they're really good. Like, they're healthy, they're strong. They can fly. Like, I've seen them fly on top of that. Not much has happened with the cows, to be honest. Um, they're very just solo. I give them hay every now and then, but that's all I really do. Oh, and um, egg production has gone through the roof. So last week we were getting around eight eggs per week, and then three days later we got sixteen. Not not egg, eight, eight, eight eggs per day from one coop, and that coop had thirty hens, which was not good. So and then they went from eight to sixteen in three days. So that was a hundred percent increase in three days. And then now, for the last four days in a row, they've um, laid 20, over 20 eggs per day, which, remarkable recovery. I think it's um, to do with the chicken feed, because I changed that and suddenly they'll back on it. So now I mix two different feeds to make one feed, and they've been laying excellently with it. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Hopefully they lay like that for a long, long, long time. And if you're wondering why I'm just kind of chill about the hawks going around and... Like, there are hawks everywhere in the sky at the moment, um, and they've got the chickens out free-ranging. Well, I've actually never had a hawk problem ever. Like, no hawk, touch wood, has ever hurt my chickens, so um, I don't know why. I think it's because of the chickens, but, oh, the roosters. Or, I've got a lot of black hens, and as I mentioned in a previous video, the black hens scare the hawks away for some reason. But, um, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm really lucky. I can free-range them all the time. I only don't free-range them when I've got to try and do something. Like, if the eggs have gone down, I have a suspicion they might be laying somewhere I can't find them, so I lock them in. But um, apart from that, they're free-range whenever. Um, never really had a predator problem, which is remarkable, actually, because, like, people say, oh, Australia's so dangerous. Yet, I would be shocked if I saw something that would eat my chickens walking around like I'd be fucking pissing myself whereas in America you see it every day like it's quite interesting um so yeah that's why I can free range them all the time I don't really have much of a predator problem which is fantastic lately I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on um, butchering chickens and meat chickens and it's actually quite inspired me um do you think I should do you think I'll be able to handle it that's my question um I can't really afford plucker, so I'd say it's going to be very much harder than it is in the videos. Um, I've got a few roosters that I don't particularly need. Um, that's probably going to be my trial run if I ever do it. Um, will I get meat chickens properly? We'll see how the roosters go. Um, as I said, I've never killed a chicken before, so 
it'd be completely new to me and I'd have to learn all over again. But um, the idea of making my own chicken nuggets from my own chicken does sound pretty appealing to me. But um, yeah, I feel like I'd have a bit of a um, moral. It's not even moral. I eat chicken. I have a, just. I feel extremely guilty for killing my own chicken. But um, yeah, I don't like the idea of cutting the heads off. That's what scares me. I wish there was a way we can just like needle it. They're dead. Yeah, so comment below if you think I should get some meat chickens. Greg would be quite, quite the rooster. Like, imagine, I think I can't do it. Imagine how much meat you get off Greg. Yeah, sometimes I do think about it when he's freaking spares me. It hurts. But, um, so I'll see you this afternoon when I finish off the chicken chores for the day. So, um, I may or may not have forgot that I was making a vlog that day. Um, no, chickens don't eat my nuts. They're still on the ground there. Um, not entirely sure why. But, yeah, that's the answer to that question. What is wrong with that tree? Well, anyway, so yeah, that is um, why the chickens didn't eat my nuts. Um, still don't know why that chicken died, actually. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the little vlog. I um, hope you aren't too traumatized, because I still am. But thanks for watching. See you on Christmas Eve.